Hello everybody, my name is Alexander. Oh, greetings from Abu Dhabi. It's morning right now and I just drank my coffee. Uh, I want to tackle a subject that I have been myself searching for some time. I just bought an Nikon 5500 50, that comes with a kit lens. So, um, what are a lot of people interested in this camera is because it has the flip screen so you can adjust to rotate the screen um, right now as I'm looking as I'm doing this vlog I'm, I'm looking at myself so uh, this is very useful because you can see yourself and your surroundings uh, and you can adjust properly but you know mainly I'm looking at you guys so I'm looking at the lens not at the uh, screen um, anyway, this is a very nice feature to have because, for example, at uh, Nikon, the previous models, uh, the 51 and the 3200, the 3100, the 3000, uh, you don't have this, so you have a fixed screen. Now, this uh, rotatable um, flip screen is very nice, and also what I have on this Nikon, this particular Nikon 5500, is the touch screen which I find actually very useful especially while reviewing my pics but going onwards we're talking about the kit lens here so I ordered my 5500 with a kit lens and a lot of people are questioning and wondering if it's good for vlogging well here it is I'm doing a vlog right now and it's with a kit lens I'm doing I have no additional equipment all I use right now is uh, the tripod which uh, it's folded so I can use it as a gorilla pad so I can also come up here yeah and walk and you know I'm walking through my room right now as I'm filming this yeah and it's with the kit lens but I will tell you the secret so the thing is with this kit lens you cannot afford to focus while you're filming because if you do that hear me out do you hear that sound so what the kit lens does is it makes a sound while it focus so what I do is before I start my vlog I just fix it and then I press the video button so then I'm filming at the same distance right the same distance between me and the camera so I don't have any problem filming the vlog uh, and I think that's what you should do. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. I didn't use manual. I know how to use manual, but for this particular uh, uh, footage right now, I'm using auto. As what I said, this is the kit lens, so it's not very wide. It doesn't capture the whole room, right? It captures a, a small portion, a small part uh, of this room. So. If you want to get really professional with a vlog, I would definitely suggest buy a wide-angle lens so you can capture more. Um, but if I hold it at a fairly good distance between you know the camera and myself, I can capture pretty much a good a good uh, posture, a good shot. So I don't know if you're on a budget, if you're like me and you don't want to spend a lot on on your um, gear and you just want to shoot some video and just want to shoot a, a simple and basic blog in which you express some ideas definitely you can use the kit lens it's cheap it's affordable and it is not a bad quality probably what I'll use next and I gotta confess I'll probably get a prime lens a 35 millimeter 1.8 G maybe and that will give the you know a wider you know, a wider space, a wider angle that I can shoot in and also better for uh, low light, but we'll see. Until then, I'll keep shooting with my, uh, with my kit lens and I really appreciate you guys seeing this video, like the video if you liked it obviously and see you on the next one. Thank you very much.